Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of what happened in Austria and Germany uh, this past weekend. Uh, quite a few things to talk, although I haven't followed these two leagues as much as I usually do. But you know, we still have uh, plenty of things to discuss. But before that, I have to say two things. For this week, I'm gonna keep a Ukraine jersey for obvious reasons up there on my background. Uh, so uh, it might pop up uh, on different spots, but in order to show uh, support for the people of Ukraine, I decided to do this for this week. Uh, at least for this week, let's see, it might continue. And the second one is a more personal note that uh, since I am currently not cannot work my main laptop is on repair where I used to edit um, and so I have another one and I'm having experiencing some trouble with the editing process um, and for that reason I need to keep it simple also to cut down a little bit on the time that I'm working on the videos uh, because you know I have uh, quite some stuff on my hands in addition so for that reason, this video is just like you see it now. There will be no additional results, graphs and so on. But I will make sure to mention uh, as many results and what's coming uh, as usual. Okay, uh, what did we see actually this weekend? I think we saw a few in Austria, we saw a few decisive steps. You know, we have, uh, this was the second to last round in the playoff. Unfortunately for Lusk, uh, did not go uh, the proper way, despite Lusk not even playing. We'll talk about that. Uh, but we also had a very dramatic scene in Vienna uh, with a heroic act of life saving also happening. So we'll talk about this. Um, we in Germany, uh, Dortmund again falter. Uh, but we also had a pretty uh, interesting game in Gladbach where it's the pendulum swung uh, very widely from one way to another uh, and on the bottom things are getting interesting i gotta say and we might have uh, not only one big team but there might be two big teams that are going down as we had last season remember bremen and schalke went down uh, maybe not of that magnitude but definitely two really really big teams are uh, can get implicated but I want to start in Austria, where in the first game, Admira beat Altach 2-0, which actually means now that Admira kind of my, uh, put themselves in a position that they're not the number one relegation candidate, and Admira is, if anything, known for surviving. Uh, they're not doing much, but they're known for surviving. However, again, I need to, I, I have to mention it again and again and again. Uh, the format of the Austria Bundesliga is such that after this main round, the teams are going to split in two groups and then the points are being halved. So whatever Admira won here is not a three point swing, it's not a three point swing, it's more or less a one and a half point swing in their favor or probably since we are rounding down a one point swing and then you have a... Um, a little advantage if you end up on half point. So uh, it might not be as big of a result uh, as it is now. Um, I think the result, the draw in Klagenfurt between Klagenfurt and Reed was definitely a big one for Klagenfurt because they more or less secured their spot in the um, top half. And for Reed, it is points lost. Uh, I personally, not because of Reed, but because of Lasker, was hoping that Klagenfurt actually could win this one. I, it's, one it's the first of the results that didn't go in my way. The big one was, however, uh, Austria Wien against uh, Wolfsburg, where I was desperately hoping for Wolfsburg to get a result here, uh, because Austria Wien, uh, you we, you could uh, catch potentially. But with that win through a Grünwald goal and uh, Patrick Pence, the goalkeeper, standing uh, making uh, a few good saves, the win was overall deserved and Austria Vienna is only a point away from securing the spot and we'll see who they'll be playing. It is very very likely that Austria Vienna after um, two years in the lower half is qualifying for the playoff up there again. However the most dramatic scene is when Teigl uh, in a very head-on co collision collapsed onto the floor from Austria, Austria Vienna and the Georgian player for Wolfsburg Lokoshvili uh, with complete presence of his mind, saw that he's out and pulled his uh, uh, the tongue out. 
saved his life this way, uh, despite uh, he being uh, bitten by the player, because, you know, when you fall, 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 fall down, everything clamps in, 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 in a way. But he stuck in there, he got the, um, the tongue out, and you could see it on the... Uh, on the reactions of the Austria Vienna players, that was. I mean, uh, the two or three came up and hugged him immediately, thanked him, because uh, he may he might as well have saved his life. I mean, it, it, it was a very surreal scene where uh, the players collapsing is falling on the floor, and you can see two Wolfsburg players being around him, and Lokoschwil immediately going in, grabbing the tongue out, whereas uh, the other player is calling immediately for. Uh, uh, people to come by. Uh, it, it was really, really, really uh, um, a harrowing scene in many ways. So that actually takes the whole game, takes a backseat. That is the top story in Austria, uh, the lifesaver from Vienna. And I am personally even happy that it was Lochoschwil, a, a person from Georgia, because, you know, it sends a signal that... Uh, foreigners and especially coming from eastern europe are very valuable members of our society and uh fortunately they are uh too often more marginalized in austria so uh that made me really really uh that added on top of that fortunately the last game was postponed because salzburg was ravaged by covid and was not able to play now i you know i understand i was a little bit disappointed pointed that they couldn't play uh, because, you know, you got to play them at the same time. Uh, but I understand if Salzburg doesn't have many enough players fit, yeah, it needs to be postponed. And so the game will be played on Wednesday. Uh, the way results turned, Lusk definitely need to win. And it's going to be hard even then uh, to make it into the top six. Sturm beating Hartberg uh, is probably the least important result of them all. And then um, uh, Wattens losing at home to Rapid Vienna and this was such a huge result for Rapid who get the goals already in the first half. Uh, but that result basically uh, last week Rapid looked into not making it in the top six. This was a huge win for them coupled with the draw from Reed. Now Rapid has it in their own hands. And if we, uh, and if I look, look, look at the final games we have Austria uh, has to play at Admira Wacker. That's most likely a win. Rapid against Klagenfurt, that might be won, but I would think that Klagenfurt is more or less through, so this doesn't work. Reed against Sturm, um, yeah, will not, end, and Lask has to play at Wolfsburg, although they have a pretty good uh, record there. Um, but in uh, for making it into the top six, Austria more or less through, it's between Klagenfurt and Rapid. Uh, is a shootout in a way but yeah it's things need to really fall uh lusk's way in many way and lusk has only a six percent chance of making it uh we also have midweek uh one cup semi-final because the one between wolfsburg and salzburg had to be postponed because salzburg's game against lusk needed to be played so we have hardback against reed uh the first semi-final uh also coming up so that was it for me from Germany and now uh, from Austria. Now we turn our attention to Germany. Hoffenheim beating Stuttgart was not a so, so surprise, but it kind of cements that Stuttgart is in real big trouble. Um, Gladbach against Wolfsburg. This was uh, one of those games, I think, where Gladbach could have been completely destroyed or could have completely rebuilt their own uh, season there. Neither really happened. I mean, they were... In every regard, the better team over the entire game. However, Wolfsburg scores two goals through a win and Borna completely against the run of play. And you really were um, worrying about Gladbach at that point, especially if you're a Gladbach fan, that you just cannot get it together. However, Markus Thuram, a season by Allison player, a combination that worked too little this season get them back in, into the game. In the second half, they try everything and they finally get the well-deserved equalizer through Embolo in the 82nd minute. And they even would have gotten the win through Ginter, but there was a foul in the build-up play. So, uh, bad luck for Gladbach in that sense. Uh, I think I can see why, why it was given a foul, but yeah, uh, was a tough decision, I gotta say. Uh, 
Bouncing back, also Leverkusen remember they lost two minds, but you know, against uh, Bielefeld, they were only ever going to be one winner. With Alario uh, uh, scoring one and Diaby uh, adding two, Patrick Schick not scoring again. Freiburg also rather convincing 3 0 win over uh, Hertha, although the second two goals came a little bit late. Hertha really trending down. Uh, it doesn't look good for Hertha, and I think at this moment one really has to worry that a uh, big team like Hertha, big town team, I mean, they, that's what, what, what they want to be, are uh, probably going to re re relegate it because they are not working well. Köln with a win could have really um, put themselves in contention for European spots, but they uh, give up an equalizer. And then later on, Kurt had actually the better chances. I mean, before that, of Köln was the better team. So yeah, it ends in a 1-1 one, one draw, uh, a result that probably doesn't really help either team. Union, after having a rather bad streak, 3-1 over Mainz. I'm wearing my Union jersey, uh, newly acquired. Uh, that was only going to go one way. I mean, Mainz won, uh, did not show up in Union. Bounced back, had a 3-0 lead, only later on got 3-1. Um, I want to mention Frankfurt Bayern. I did not see it, but I heard that um, of all the proclamations pro Ukraine, the one in Frankfurt was the strongest because on the we 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 well it more or less said stop that as Putin. Uh, very clear. I mean, no no other team put it so bluntly uh, in support, and Frankfurt is known for. Uh, they're rather, how, 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 how to say, progressive-leaning fan base, which is something really nice to see. The game was hard fought, but uh, for once, Frankfurt cannot get anything from Bayern. Sané come on and scores the winner. Leipzig also a win at Bochum, so um, there every, 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 everything's going fine at Leipzig. Leipzig probably will end up in the top four spots now after a really bad start to season, but they are kicking into the next gear. And Dortmund drop points again. Uh, Azar gives them the lead in the first half, but in the 78th minute, uh, uh, Augsburg scores an equalizer. And so any title hope race hopes are done and they were never there to begin with. We have a pretty big game coming up uh, with Bayern against Leverkusen uh, Saturday at 3.30. I think that's one to watch out for. I also think that Hertha against Frankfurt is a is a game where I think I think both sides need something. Leipzig Freiburg. Freiburg wanna go for the Champions League. That's the game uh, for them. Um, and then a game that could have huge implications in the relegation. Or there are actually two. There's already on Friday Bielefeld against Augsburg, and then Stuttgart against Gladbach is one uh, to watch out for. Uh, and then for Euro European spots, Köln and Hoffenheim. Mainz has been tripping up Dortmund as well. So um, that. Could be interesting. Uh, as for um, the current standings, uh, you know, it really seems at the moment that the top four are set in stone uh, with, um, uh, you know, Bayern, Dortmund, Leverkusen, and Leipzig, Freiburg, Hoffenheim, only outside chances, uh, Union, Köln, Mainz probably go for uh, the Conference League spot. Given, however, the cup round falls, I mean, that uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. However, on the bottom, um, Fürth seems to be done. Stuttgart, 7% seven, seven going down. Hertha, 40% four, per percent. And then Augsburg and Bielefeld. All the rest, Gladbach, Wolfsburg, Bochum, still look kind of uh, safe at that. Um, and as I said, we also have a cup round. And uh, it is a very weird cup round. Um, we, uh, we have already today Union against St. Pauli. I mean, this is a duel of two teams that are, in many ways, always everybody's second team. As I said, it's a very weird cup round. The only Bundesliga duel is between Bochum and Freiburg. Uh, we have a second Bundesliga duel between HSV and Karlsruhe. And then Hannover plays at Leipzig. Leipzig, Freiburg and Union are probably thinking, yeah, this is ours to win. It's a highly competitive cup round. So yeah, that was it from Austria and Germany. Please drop a line below what you thought about what's happening in these leagues. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.